You can leverage Snowflake tasks as you develop data pipelines and coalesce using task node types. In this video, we will be exploring the fact with task node type. The fact with task node type is a node that wraps the standard coalesce fact node with a task. This allows users to independently schedule or perform work on a periodic basis or combine the task or tasks with the coalesce stream node, allowing for continuous ELT workflows to process recently changed table rows. To create a fact with task node, you can select any existing node or nodes in the coalesce build interface and add the fact with task node. We can work in this node the same way we would use the standard coalesce fact node, with the major difference being the configuration settings. On the right hand side of the screen, the first configuration setting dropdown that we'll explore is options. Within the options dropdown, you'll see that by default, development mode is toggled on. Development mode allows you to test the SQL that the task will execute properly prior to creating and wrapping the SQL in a task, allowing you to ensure that the SQL will execute as a DML action. Once you have tested that your SQL will run, you can toggle development mode to off to wrap the SQL statement in a task containing options to schedule the task. The multi-source toggle allows users to combine multiple sources in the same node using union or union all. Next, we have the option of passing a business key to Coalesce, allowing Coalesce to configure the business key as metadata, allowing joins to be more efficiently generated when this node is used. The cluster key toggle allows you to specify whether you want to cluster on a column or columns. By toggling on, you can specify the column or columns you wish to cluster on using the dropdown. Additionally, you can toggle allow expressions in cluster key to on to allow users to write SQL expressions for the columns included. Moving on to the general options of the node, the first toggle seen is distinct. When toggled on, the distinct toggle adds a distinct keyword to the SQL query. Also, when toggled on, the group by toggle is removed from the configuration pane. The group by toggle determines whether to add group by all to the SQL query. This will be added for you when toggled on which will also make the distinct toggle disappear from the configuration pane. The last toggle within general options is order by. When toggled on, Coalesce will add an order by to the SQL query and allow you to specify the column or columns and sort order for the order by statement. Each of the toggles within general options is optional. When development mode is toggled off, the scheduling options configuration will appear. The first configuration option available is the scheduling mode. The schedule mode specifies whether a warehouse or serverless compute is used to run the task. When warehouse task is selected, you must provide a valid Snowflake virtual warehouse within the select warehouse on which to run task input box. When serverless task is selected, the task will execute utilizing Snowflake serverless compute using the serverless warehouse size you select. Additionally, there is a toggle for when source stream has data flag. When toggled on, the task will only run if the source stream has captured changes to data. Otherwise, when toggled off, the task will execute on schedule regardless of whether the source stream has data. Additionally, if the source of the node is not a stream, this toggle should be toggled off. When the source stream has data flag toggle is on, the user can use and or logic to specify, if multiple streams are being used as a source, when to run the task. If and is selected, the task will run if all the streams used as sources have data. If OR is selected, the task will run if one or more streams used as sources have data. Next, you'll need to configure the task schedule for the task. Here, you'll have three options, minutes, cron, and predecessor. Minutes allow you to specify a minute interval for running the task, such as every 60 minutes. By selecting cron, you can specify a cron schedule for running the task. Finally, by selecting predecessor, you will specify a predecessor task or tasks to determine when a task should execute. This option can contain one or more task names that precede the task being created in the current node. If there are multiple predecessor tasks, each task name should be separated with a comma and no spaces. Predecessor scheduling is accompanied by requiring the root task name. Here you will pass through the root task that controls the scheduling for the DAG of tasks. Again, if there are multiple tasks, you can list each task name separated by a comma with no spaces. You can use a fact with task node to transform your data the same way that you would use a standard coalesce fact node. 
Once you have configured your task, your node will execute on the task schedule specified within the node configuration. For more information on working with tasks in Coalesce, you can reach out to our team at help.coalesce.io.